Hi guys, Meth here. Hope you're all doing well on this day of the Friday. Hopefully your fusion event or fusion situation is going well. I'm pretty much on track with everything. Just got the summoning event to get through. And I'm hoping we can do it. Should be good. Should be good. I mean, look at this stupid offer. 99 us dollars 100 us dollars for three sacred shards and some brews i mean who's gonna buy this are you gonna be slightly wrong to buy this or just more money than cents i reckon no thanks don't want that polarium thanks very much for the offer turn stealer right who do we want from this summoning draft Gentoro would be cool, but I want a Deacon. Deacon Armstrong. More than any of the others. Just want a Deacon Armstrong. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? No, we don't want that rubbish. No, we don't want that rubbish. Anything else? We done? Good. Well done, Polarium. Good, good, good. Well, we've got seven. Seven Ancients. Uh, seven sacreds, I should say. Right, let's see. Uh, I think I could possibly... Yes, I could get eight. And another void. What do I need to do? Beat a campaign boss three times. Bang. We'll claim that. Bang. We'll claim... Oh, we can't claim that. So, what I'm going to do... Let's just do three campaign bosses quick and easy. Uh, let's do you. Let's do you super quick. Uh, I don't even know. Let's go bang, bang, bang. Why not? There we go. Let's do it quick and easy. Three of these. Get another sacred. And I tell you what, I'll edit it out and we'll come back. So, we ended it. Let's claim that. Quick little edit there. Claim that. Thank you very much. Claim that. Claim that. Oh, feels so good. Is the weekly one done as well? Oh, wow. Look at this all tying in together. It's like it was pre-planned. But I don't think it was. Anyway, let's let's have a look. So I think I need what do I need? Three thousand for the fragments, and they're five hundred a pop. So I need to do six. But let's uh, let's have a look quickly. Gentoro would be cool. Tomb Lords, all right. The rest, I mean, Necron. I'm not going to open the the void shards. Don't. Really want to waste the voids until it's a two times. I really don't want either of them. I've got a whisper already. Gala, Gala long braids would be all right. Um, but Deacon. Deacon is what I want. Anax would be cool. But Deacon, he is so good. He is such a good champion. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get into it. Can you feel the luck? Is the, the raid guards with me? Probably not. But let's do it. Oh, God. Do I feel nervous? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't want my mercies at either. I don't think I'm at my mercy. So we'll be lucky. Here we go. Shot number one. What do we got behind door number one? We have got Gizka. <laughs> oh, really? Thank you, game. Thanks for all the hard work I put into the last two weeks. And now I get a Gizgard. Oh, well. A second one won't hurt because I'll have to get rid of the next one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Norma the Returned. Oh, my God. Who are you? Tax one enemy. 40% chance of increasing the duration of three random debuffs on the target by one turn. Okay. Never heard of her, so I can't imagine she's all that good. Attacks one enemy, has a 75% chance of placing a 50% decreased attack buff. That's also attacking one enemy. Also heals all allies by 15% of the champion's max HP. The heal increases 
by 2% for each poison debuff on the target. Okay. Tax one enemy, 75% chance, 100% chance when booked. Placing three poison debuffs and a 25% poison sensitivity debuff for three turns. And increases ally attack in dungeons by 80. Wow. I mean, she looks cool. That's a pretty cool skin. Clan boss. I thought she was a bit of a clan boss. That's a damn cool skin. I like that. Anyway, we've got a Lego. So there goes the uh, the Lego chances, I suppose. Come on, give me a deacon. Oh, Tarshan. Mm, no thanks. Tax one enemy. Provoke. AoE. Weaken. Oh, 25% weaken. That's pretty good. Quite like the weaken. Maybe it's not that bad. Tarshan. Increased defense on all allies for two turns. For him. Okay, maybe it's not too bad. And strength and buff on the champion for two turns. Whenever their HP drops below 50%. Okay. So A1's alright. A2 is pretty sweet. What's that on a three turn cooldown? For two turns. 25% weaken. That might be pretty decent for Doom Tower. Alright, we'll take a Tarshan. And Oathbound. Okay, he's not too bad. Freeze. AoE on the A2. 75% chance of 50% decrease attack. And 55% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter. Not too bad. Forward, forward random on his A3. Each attack has a 30% chance of placing a block cooldown skills. That's not too bad, actually. I'll take an Oathbound. Not bad. Bit of a force champion. We like a force champion. Good. Happy with that. Oh, God. Frostbringer. Not another Frostbringer. You are so bad. Right, I'm going to open one more. And we'll see if that gives me the points for that I need for the summon summoning rush. Oh, Mausoleum Mage. Hell yeah, I'll take a Mausoleum Mage. Tax one enemy, 30% chance of decreased speed for two turns. Booked up to 50. Places increased crit rate and increased defense on all allies for two turns. Also places a block debuffs on all allies for one turn every three turns. Don't need a lot of books for that. Removes all debuffs from all allies, then heals all allies by 10% of the champion's max HP. Heals each ally by a further 10% if one or more debuffs are removed from that ally. Nice. Fills each ally's turn meter by 15% if two or more debuffs are removed from that ally. Hello, Arena Champion. Those are pretty damn good pulls. Uh, what is it, a tournament? Let's have a look. Hopefully it doesn't freeze everything up by trying to load this tournament in. You know you can do it. I think I need to put some more RAM in this PC. I think it's got to the stage where it's starting to go no more. So, hopefully... This doesn't freeze me up and go all choppy-like. No, because it's not. It's an event. Summoning event. I'm a dum-dum. Nope, don't want that. Nope, don't want that. If there's probably... If there's a chance at a legendary book or something for another two uh, sacred summoned, I might do it. Otherwise, I should be pretty happy with that. A Lego I've never heard of, but, you know... Sometimes they're the best. Go on, summoning rush. Go on. You know you want to. Oh, there's the champion fragments. Oh, and a five star for the training. Shit, should I just open them? I think I might just open them. Wow, okay. Uh, do I want to open them or do I want to hold on to them? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm so torn as what to do. <laughs> oh, God. Well, if you watch this far, pause the video, leave a comment. Do you think I open them 
Or don't you think I opened them? Leave it and then come back to the video. Let's see what happens. I still don't know what to do. I really want a deacon. Oh, let's do it. What the hell? Let's do it. Oh, Fenax. I'll take a Fenax. Yes, please. Thank you very much. One of the hardest hitting A1s. Tax in any place is an extra hit. If the target has any debuffs, enemies killed by the skill cannot be revived. He hits hard as hell. Attacks all enemies. Has a 75% chance of placing block buffs, debuff for two turn. Places a block cooldown skills debuff for one turn if the skill does not place the block debuffs. Bomb. Yeah, we don't really care about bomb. Tax one enemy has a 60% chance of placing a 60% decrease defense debuff and a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns. He's good. I like Fenax. Happy with that. Go on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Good, good. Give me something good. Alexa, stop. Why? Why would, why would that be playing? Okay, let's... Meh. Oh, well, we didn't get a Deacon. We didn't get a Deacon. Well, they were pretty decent. Alexa, stop. Sorry. She just plays when she feels like playing things. Don't know who she's listening to. Anyway, that's uh, short and sweet. Uh, got a few good champions, didn't I? Um, I don't know why I'm still wearing the glasses. <sighs> it's one of those days, I suppose. Um... Yeah, got some good champions. Happy with that. Got the summoning event done. Easy peasy. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, as usual, take care.